start with a battle over free lunches along the lakeshore. Last night, Manitowoc Public School District Superintendent James File sent a letter listing the reasons he ended a program providing free meals to all students. As we first reported last week, File reverted to a prior policy that gives free or reduced cost meals only to qualifying students. This move has been met with backlash from some parents with an online petition being formed and signed calling for his resignation. Holly Brantley is live in Manitowoc with an update today after speaking with the superintendent and parents. So Holly, last night's letter was meant to explain his reasons for the decision that he made. Has it worked? Has it placated anybody that's upset? So far, Chris, it is not, especially to the creators and signers of the petition that I spoke to. Some of the reasons that he cited included budget, better decision for taxpayer dollars. But the parents that I spoke with today, some that we will hear from at five, are telling me that they cite misinformation and they say that that's just not good enough. They feel that there is a great need here in this district and that every student should be provided lunch for free. Right, and want, breakfast, too, as it, the program allows. Okay, I want to get to that in just a second. But those people signing the petition, they want him to go. You spoke to him today. Is he going to go? Absolutely not. I asked him, uh, There's, I said, there's a group of parents. They have over 800 signatures asking for your resignation. Are you going to resign? He said, absolutely not. I'm going to stay right here and focus on education in this community. So he has no intention of doing that. All right, so let's go back to the kids there. How will the meal programs now in place ensure that all the kids who need a lunch or need a breakfast are going to get one? So that's the real issue because we all know that a hungry kid or a hungry person does not learn well, right? So he says that there are numerous programs in place aside from the program that they were using. Many of the kids in the district are already part of programs that their parents can apply for different means that would provide them free or reduced lunches. In addition, some parents are saying that some kids are still falling through the cracks, that their parents didn't fill out the paperwork, that the money wasn't in the account, whatever the situation is. Well, Mr. File has has authorized the principals in the district. If they see a kid hungry, they are going to make sure that those kids get fed. And as far as the budget for that, that will come out of the general fund. So no kids here are going to go hungry. That's well, the important thing. That is the important thing. Holly, thanks so much for that update. More on this story coming up tonight on Action 2 News at 5. Well,